So, as some of you may know, squirrels like to come in my garden. And this one is very friendly. Hey, little fella. We should give him a name. Like he's literally about 10 centimetres away from me. <laughs> What's he doing? Why are you sitting on my window ledge? I think he's trying to become my best friend. I don't think I've ever been this close to a squirrel before. It's alright, you can stay there. I'm not making you go anywhere. This is why I love living here. I mean, it could be a red squirrel, which would be better. But this is cute enough. It's time that I painted this wall. You can see a little pack to where I started. You can see a plate and three cups over there. A bowl down here. A messy room. I uh, am about to... No, I've got a couple of things to do actually. I am going to pull this out, tidy the stuff up first, then pull this drawer out. What my plan is to do for this drawer is, as you can see, I've got all my makeup and things on here. Um, so the top drawer, some beautiful pictures I've done. What I want to do is have my makeup and hair stuff in the top drawer, all the top two drawers, whether I need it or not. Um, because I originally got ready sat on the floor in front of the mirror but it's like hurting my legs so it's easier if I just stand up and do it here and this is nice to have this here but I don't want it out all the time it's looking a bit messy so when I pull it all out I'm going to redo it but what I'm going to do is get this wall painted so this wall is where I film I originally filmed at my window but I'm backlit if I film during the day so that was a little bit silly that wall I've got my computer I'm actually just exporting a video there I've got to clean up this room um I want my computer on that wall I could have my computer on this wall but again I'm backlit so when I'm streaming I've got a problem with lighting there um so my computer's going to stay on that wall my other wall is obviously my wardrobes. So this wall is going to be my filming wall. So I've opted for this colour. Now this was just a tester. Um, not only a tester for the colour, but mainly a tester to see if it would stick. So this wallpaper is vinyl. I didn't know whether I'd have to put a primer on. This is the tester pot I had before. So it's um, pearl grey and I really liked it so I bought the matte pearl grey. I was going to do the silk but I think if I have silk and I have lights on it there's going to be a sheen or a reflection and that's not really what I want. I want just a nice matte wall that loads of light isn't going to bounce off. So I thought I had just set my computer away to export a video. It stopped. So I'm assuming it hasn't done it. So I'm going to have to redo that. I'm currently in my work clothes. This is my work clothes. My work clothes are under here. So I'm going to get changed into some painting gear. Go downstairs, check dinner. I am doing, tonight I'm doing crispy duck pancakes. Um, no, no, I'm not. That's a lie. I'm doing duck wraps with hoisin sauce and like cucumber and lettuce and stuff so I need to see how long I've got to cook the duck for because it's currently six o'clock so I might set that away get things moved and even if I get the edging done tonight I'd be happy if I get one coat done then brilliant but if not as long as I get the edges done I like cut in and then I can just paint tomorrow it doesn't take that long for it to dry but it would be nice if I could have a little coat on tonight and then a second coat tomorrow. But we'll see, I'm not going to rush it. There's no real rush to get it done. 
So that's my latest DIY thing. Um, a problem I've got downstairs, I'll show you. My garden is a state. Um, just, it got really lovely last month and now it's minging. The reason that the paving stones are turned up like this is because we had ants. There was an ant colony under all of these slabs. Uh, we had to peel back 11 to get rid of them. The garden was absolutely covered in ants, it was awful, you couldn't sit out without them crawling all over you. So I turned over the bottom paving slab and there was ants, turned over the next one, there was more ants. And the colony went on and on and on. So what I've done is I've turned it over and left it. Um, just see their flies, just to see if the ants return. So it's really just to see if they return, to see if I need to work to get rid of them. Um, it's rained very heavily in the past couple of days. Which has meant this is very wet. Again, these are all just flies, there's no ants actually in here. Oh, hold on. There's one there, but that's only one, that's not millions, so I'm going to have to get this flattened out and relayed, which is not an easy job to get it like totally level, but I'm just leaving them. I might pull the flagstones up because I get the ruin in the grass underneath, I might just put them to one side even though that's ruined in the grass underneath. Um, I think this year is just like a test year with my garden. We got all the trees cut down, just trying to establish plants, getting them like set in. My poor cherry tree isn't doing well. So this year it's just to get a few little things done with the house. Um, the garden, we have done a lot of work on the garden this year actually. Um, but it keeps going from really lovely to messy to really lovely to messy and I just think I need to get over that get over the fact that it's not perfect and done yeah it was lovely last month and now it's a mess again that's what happens when you renovate and that's what happens when you're doing a garden out it can't just look lovely so I've got a few things to do with that let's have a look in the fridge at the duck been defrosting the duck since last night. I put it on a little, um, this is actually a piece of towel that I cut. It had holes in so I just cut it into little squares and I use it just to, you know, wipe things up and put it in the washing machine straight away. So, reduced, got a bargain, preheat your oven to 220. All right, see the other side for 30 seconds. Oh, is that it? Oh god, it doesn't take any time at all. It takes like half an hour. You can either oven cook it or grill it. Sweet, I'm just gonna do that. And even if it's not, like I don't need shredded duck, I can just like slice it, put it in the wraps. And something I'm having for dinner tonight, it's a starter. I'll show you, this is my menu. So this is what I worked on the other day making a chalkboard out of this ugly coloured pantry door. Um, so I just used, I used a primer first of all and then a couple of layers of chalkboard paint. So tonight we're having for the starter parma ham and mozzarella and then duck wraps. Basically you get parma ham, buffalo mozzarella, wrap a buffalo mozzarella up in the parma ham and grill it. I can't tell you how amazing it tastes. It's the best thing I've ever tasted, ever. So I'm gonna have that because the wraps aren't much and then have a nice big duck wrap. But first of all, I need to get sorted and start that room. So it's a little bit darker now, a lot darker. I, uh, I pulled everything back 
Please excuse the loud laughing my boyfriend's downstairs streaming. So I pulled everything back away from the wall and I've started cutting in. So I've done all the way down there. It's not up to the ceiling yet. Around that, as you can see, there's like, you know, bits on the light switch. I'm not really that bothered because I'm getting new light switches when I get my rewire done. This is two coats, so hopefully after the second coat, it'll cover the pattern. I've done all the floor, I've done the sides. I won't be getting um, the roller stuff done tonight. But as long as I can get a little bit done, I'm happy. This doesn't need to be perfect, it's literally just, you know, so I've got a blank canvas to work on. Good morning everybody, let me just close this door. As you can see I've been peeling paint off. And I know my carpets are in an awful state. These, they actually look worse on camera. Um, these are the carpets that were in the house when we moved in. Obviously we filled with them, um, but they're just, they're old. But they're fine to live with for now. So. I'm still going to cover them up with that green cover just so I don't get loads of splashes of paint on the carpet. So yesterday I did all of the cutting in. I just did up there with a the brush because it was so small. This is the paint that has three coats on. I just wanted to see the difference between three coats and two coats. So it looks, it looks okay with two but it's a little bit better with three. And what I've been doing is just been peeling paint from around here. These light switches will be getting changed as well. Um, I'll just move that. As well these. However, I don't like all of the paint on it. It annoys me. So what I've been doing is just chipping away at it, just so it's a little bit cleaner. Um, this will all be hoovered up, that's fine. So yeah, that's what I've been doing this morning. It doesn't take very long and as you can see it makes a big difference. Um, these well, I mean this one's like loose. The electrics in this house need completely replaced and we are getting that this year. I just need to get quotes. Um, so all cutting has been done, I've decided to do this wall, the side bit and also this. So that I can film in this corner if needs be. Uh, so this is going to go back in this corner, so that could be an option for filming. This is also on wheels, so it pushes nice and easy. I covered this little bit up. This was a, a bit of torn wallpaper. I did glue it back, but I wanted to put a bit of paint on just to almost seal it a little bit. So I'm about to start with the roller. If I can find it. Oh no. I bought a brand new roller. 
and um, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I had it this morning. I was crink. Oh, it's over right here. I was crinkling it because it sounded so nice. So this one is the rough surface roller um, for textured interior walls and ceilings. So this obviously is textured. It doesn't need to be perfect. A lot of people have said, well, why are you painting over wallpaper? It's just going to bubble and peel over the years. That's totally fine. It literally, I just want a blank canvas for now. When the room gets done, this will all be stripped. The ceiling will be stripped. Um, and either new wallpaper or painted. But if I strip this wall, then I'm going to have to sand it and it's going to be, oh, it's just going to be so messy. You know what it's like when you've got a bare wall. It's going to have to be plastered just to be painted. So right now the right decision is just to paint it. So let's get some paint in here. So I'm just going to give it a quick scrub out to get the dirt out. I do wash these out after I use them. But when they're sat in a cupboard get quite dusty and I don't want lots of dust or flakes in my paint I love this colour it's like a a nice grey but it's also got Quite a lavender tone to it. I'm going to fill that up, get the roller on, start painting. season start again. Yay. And now I'm just going to go and dampen it a little bit, like literally get a little bit of water and just squish it on the outside. covered but not dripping
fridge is actually really good. <clears throat> now, time to get something on. Netflix maybe. And watch it while we paint. And it is tipping it down outside like the heavens have literally opened outside. It's absolutely chucking it down. But on days like this I really don't mind. Because I'm in the house. And I don't have to go anywhere. It's done. It um took a bit of time, but it's done. There are parts that are um, like there, I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see the stripes a little bit down there. Um, and if you look closely, you can see, you know, a few stripes there, but that doesn't really matter. The most important part was this bit of the wall. I'm literally just showing you grey. <laughs> It will not focus on pure grey, who knew? So this part was the most important part of the wall because this is where I'm filming. So I went over this a couple of times. I was going to do a bit more film of me painting but it really wasn't interesting. It was literally me just painting um, and I had music or a movie on quite a lot of the time. So I'm very pleased. i just waiting for it to dry. You can see dark marks up there couple of marks here um so there is there is patches where I did a bit extra and it's, it's I mean I only finished it like half an hour ago I'm about to do a bit of a stream now which I'm looking forward to get a cup of tea some biscuits um that should just be my tagline tea and biscuits makes everything better so I'm gonna get a cup of tea some bickies and play some Stardew Valley and just chill out like just zone out and enjoy the rest of my day. Next thing my tackle is my garden. I think I'm going to move the paving slabs because I got rid of all the ants but the paving slabs are still lying on the grass and they're going to get the grass messy so um, I'm going to move those to one side and then once I'm sure all the ants have gone flatten the surface and after YouTube how is best to do it and then get those paving slabs relayed. Good morning folks. So my wall is totally dry now. I'm not going to put another coat on it. There are areas of the wall that could really use another coat. The area that I need to be grey is grey and the wallpaper is covered up. The bit that I could do with another coat is down here. I'm not sure if you can really see it. Um, you can in certain lights, but it's fine for what I need. So part two of this process was taking stuff out of these drawers and putting my makeup stuff in. And this, um, I got some paint on here yesterday, so I got a baby wipe and started to rub. And that's the colour it started to come up. This was just dirt like it was filthy and I thought I was maybe rubbing the varnish off but then it's kind of the same colour as this um, so I don't know if this is just years and years of dirt or whether this side just wasn't varnished and I rubbed the varnish off I think eventually I do like these drawers they're very well made they're not stiff at all they're, they're very smooth they glide lovely I love the handles so I think what I will eventually do is paint these. So I might do like a colour for the outside, a different colour for the drawers, and then a, a specific colour for the handles. I know a lot of people get um, lovely wallpaper and paper the fronts, or sometimes I've seen them paper the sides. You couldn't really paper the sides very well. Um, but what we're doing with these drawers is transferring my makeup into them. So the only thing I've got a problem with is this. I don't think this is going to fit in one of the small drawers. It may prove me wrong. So literally just going to empty the drawer out up here. 
I have far too many colored pencils. There's no need to have one, two, three pencil cases of colored pencils. I think I'm gonna have to sort through those. Leave that for now. <clears throat> so this is obviously all my Art with Angel stuff. And just things that I use for videos or things that sound nice. A tape of Backstreet Boys and various. Hands up if you know why you would use a pencil with one of these. I no longer have a way to play this tape. I gave away my CD player about a year ago before I moved in here and I gave it to an old folks home um, because it had tapes and CDs and I thought, you know, put it on in the, um, in the, the communal room of an old folks home and they'll enjoy it. So I kept that because I'm not sure what's actually on it. This is actually, I don't use this, but this is a, a proper fixer. We used it for something we did a little while back. The inside of a shoebox, just to keep everything together. It doesn't have to be an expensive organizing system, as long as it works. Okay, this is actually pretty clean, like, it's not really dusty at all, it's just that on the, the bottom. Now I'm going to get my makeup this stuff in. So I've got two palettes, I only own two palettes, and they're the naked ones. Some people have like, have watched um, YouTube videos where people have like 15 palettes, or they're narrowing their palettes down and they start out with like, 30 or 40 and they're like yeah well I've narrowed it down to 15 and I'm like what? It's ridiculous. Oh I've got charcoal on me I think. So yeah two palettes that's more than enough for me. In here I will show you what I've got. So in here is just uh, brushes and my bronzer. I think I mentioned before this is just from Wilco's actually. It's just a normal bronzer. I don't buy anything ridiculously expensive, it's something like 3 4 99 something like that. Then I've got my bronzing brush, which is by Eco Tools. Uh, my Zoeva buffer brush. I have a couple of proper Zoeva brushes. These ones my brother got me. And I remember at Christmas I was like, whoa, how many like Zoeva brushes have you got me? And uh, he was like, oh, it only cost this much on Amazon. Anyway, these are the fakes. Um, and this is the real one. But I love the bag it came in. And then this one's a Ruby and Millie. I don't really use this anymore. This is more for when I do makeup for videos. This is a bag I got. Just a stiller one. All of my brushes, again. So these were the ones that came in the pack my brother got me. These are the ones my boyfriend got me for Christmas, these are the real ones. Um, are these the weaver ones? Yes they are. So I got a nice selection because I was sick of using rubbish brushes. So I got some proper brushes and I didn't believe that having the right tools would make putting makeup on easier but oh my god my makeup goes on so much better. And then I just have the odd brush that I use for putting makeup on again. If I'm putting like green on, I'll use this so I don't kind of have green on all of these. And then in here, this is my makeup. This is practically, well it is, all of my makeup. So, let's take out the duplicate. So, I have two of those. That one's running out. It's just um, a blusher. It's a cream blusher from Max Factor. Mascara, these are brand new. I bought that and then I got this for free. And I actually got that for free with it. Um, and it just so happened it was the identical colour to the one I used, so I was really pleased about that. Tweezers. 
that's now just that was a cheek tint but i use it just for lip tint whenever i want color on my lips which is almost never what else have i got a bit of under eye cream should probably throw that out urban decay brow box now this was when i first decided i might start doing something with my brows so what it is is two different colors and then wax but i find if i get the color on the wax it goes on much smoother and then underneath is like a little brush and tweezers which i don't use and i also have um a eyebrow color here but it, it just doesn't go on very nicely at all it's really dry, like you can see how dry it is, you can see it on the side. Anyone who uses this, am I meant to put an oil in with this or something? Or heat it up? It just, it goes dry and shrinks and it's impossible to put on. And this is the third one I've had, like a different make, and they're all the same. So, I'm not sure if I'm just not using it quick enough, I've not had it that long. But it's dried up awfully so that may have to go in the bin if that's just what happens with it uh lip balm two colors these are the colors i use if i'm not really doing you know it's like a a natural makeup day so i actually got this one free it's just a nice taupey kind of brown um and a cream that is for when i am um, going to an event and I need my makeup to last all day and again a bit of under eye cream or just you know if I need to moisturize my face um that is this is from Jambri this as you can see I use to put over my eyelid when I put my mascara on and it stops me from getting mascara on my eyes eyebrow what's this a brow tamer I'm just not very good with that. I still try with it though. This is the other thing I bought. A colour corrector highlighter from Max Factor. It's quite nice just to highlight my cheekbones and you know, whatever else. Um, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. I'm getting better with this. I do practice. My go-to concealer. I don't use this as a foundation but it just it doesn't go all over my face it just goes on my chin down the sides of my nose and under my eyes i don't actually have foundation because i don't like it so whenever i have a spot or something i just use it on it then two eyeliners which get used every now and again so this is what's got to go in here um that fits nicely under there as does that. Hold on. What I don't want is to have to be pulling things out every day to get to something. So right now this isn't working. I've also got in here a few things out into here so that they're they're there I'm not gonna have to open stuff I might put my brushes in here um, so then I can just actually found this one which is the lid to this one and it's shorter so it fits nicely so I can have my little section there this is one of the ones I actually used in the old place um, usually I'll have it like that or like that depending on how much I've got to put behind it if there's something I rarely rarely use I'll just stick it behind it if it's something I need access to I'll try to 
you know, maybe do it like that so I can get it out all of the time. So I knew if I had a look around the house, I'd find one of my organising systems. So this is just a perfume box. You know when it's Christmas and you get this one was Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, my favourite perfume. Um, so at Christmas when you get these lovely boxes, I usually keep these and just put them in drawers. If I haven't got a place for them, I will chuck them out, but nine times out of ten, I just pop them in a drawer to make life a little bit easier so I'm not having to buy expensive drawer separators. They're free, it's recycling. So yeah, I'm gonna get my brushes in there now. So I've ended up um, <clears throat> sorting my pencils. I've kind of almost finished these drawers. I'm just finding somewhere for my art stuff to go and I thought I can't put three lots of pencils back. So, these are the ones I'm keeping. I'm just organising them in colour, make sure I've got a good... I'm not keeping all of them, I do not have duplicates, but I'm just organising these ones first. So these are what I'm doing up. I'm going to pop them in the tin. I'm either going to see if um, my friend's little ones need them. I know my friend's daughter does a lot of artwork or maybe the local primary school might take them when they're back open. These are just random pencils that I don't want, don't need, so they're going. These, that's actually from a set that I always use, so that's going over in my drawer. Uh, I'm going to test that and decide whether to keep it or not if it works. So the final ones I've got to do are these. So all I'm doing is having a look if I have a similar colour. If I do, it goes in there. And that's just, you know, it's real deep and meaningful how I'm doing this. Orange. Um, yeah, it's close enough. Blues. I've got loads of blues that look like that one. Is that the same? It's a bit of a darker one, but I've already got one that looks like that. A nice dark blue, I've got one. So these are my pencils. Let's just pull them down. Because there are lots of duplicates that I don't need in here. So straight away, I don't need two whites. Um, are they the same? No, they're different. So the ones that are like um, that shape are obviously the same brand. What's that? Scribblicious. Yellows I've already done. Pinks I've done. Don't need two of those. I did the reds, the different reds. They're the same. Don't need two of those. Don't need two of those. They're all different. There we go. This is my new Well they all fit in here. That's why I do. Oh no 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 no. Wrong way. Wrong way. So I'm gonna empty these out. And I'm gonna go in there, because that's a big one. They fit in there nice and easy. And then here, my greeny. Why do I have four rubbers? I'm going to keep those two. Get rid of those. Two rulers. What's that? An ultra flex one. Don't want an ultra flex one. Put that in there. Um, I am going to keep two different. Don't be good with an S, does it? Come on, Charlotte. Sharpener, it does, sharpener. I've got the word stapler in my head. This is what I have to do, people. I have to look at it and be like, what is this called? So, I keep two sharpeners because sometimes this is just isn't that great on certain pencils. And this one, although it looks awful, it's actually a really good one. Some blades, because you never know. That's actually the blades to um, like a scalpel I've got. I do like fine cutting and things, and that is my mini stapler. 
because I've got that and go to my friend's house or the school. Some extra rubbers, a ridiculous amount of pencils. Like, who needs that many pencils? Clearly me, apparently. I don't need a pen. I've got so many of these. Now, over here. These are um, proper drawing pencils. They don't fit because what's happened is they've thought we'll keep them, present them nice, and keep them all separated. But then I've, well, my boyfriend's bought extra Derwent pencils and now they don't all fit. So now they all fit. And I'll just get rid of that. Now, if these are moved around all the time, like travelled, then we'd need this, but we don't. It sits in a drawer. So now it fits in there. So what I'm going to do is pop these in here. If they'll fit, they should fit. Come on. They can fit. Minimal. Minimise. I don't need two pencil cases. I'm also trying to film this while doing it. There we go. There we go. So, that's my pencils there. My case. And then here, I can put all of the pencil pencils. Rulers. Rubbers. I've got this to give away. I put a few in the bin. That's going to go in recycling. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm very pleased with that actually. I wasn't planning on um, minimising what I had. But I'm so good at doing it one handed. Put them to one side now. And then these can go in here. That is now loads of room for them and I've timed that perfectly because the battery's about to die. So that's meant to be going in the bin. This is how it looks. Top drawer is all of my makeup. Now when I say all of my makeup I realise I don't have much. These are my only two palettes. I've got one there that's very old. And uh, I really should get some more. I'm just not very good at buying makeup. I don't know what, you know, I should be using or anything like that. I'm not very into it. You know, I mean, I use one that I got for free. And then, but I probably got that for free as well. So this is how this drawer looks. In here, the, I only got three brushes out of that bag. I don't actually use the other three on a regular basis at all so i put them in there i've also put the spare blusher in for when i am ready to use it and the other new mascara this is i've only had this like a week and a half two weeks so that one's in there for i'm ready to use it um this is all my makeup that i practically use every day i've got a couple of spare brushes there one is for my eyebrows it's nice and soft this is actually from the boots argan oil uh, mascara and it's just so so soft it's lovely and this one is a harder brush um, and this is to get any clumps out of my eyelashes so I've got those there my brushes some baby wipes and then things I just need to get my hands on again another bit of eyeshadow it's ridiculously all that a spray like a spray stay if I need to wear makeup for a long time. Two drawers down, I've got my hair stuff. So this is really all I do for my hair. I've got my hair straighteners that I always keep wrapped back up, put away neat. Um hair dryer again always wrap that cord up. I only use two brushes, I use a comb for when I straighten my hair, some of my spare clips and Kirby grips and hair ties. So now, on a morning, I put my makeup things on there, or just open it up. I will pull this back, and then I've got a mirror, and I can get ready here. 
I've just realised I've got to find a home for that now. I found a home for it. In there. Got my art thing there. And then underneath. I've reorganised. I love this. I'm going to, I think I'm going to mount it on the wall. Maybe on there I use it in some videos. It doesn't stand up. I need like a stand for it. So I keep it in there to keep it safe so it doesn't get uh, destroyed. Um, so I've got my Biscuits of Britain stuff in there. I've got a selection. I've had to narrow things down because I had like a sugar pot, two jugs. I've got loads of cups now. I've got loads downstairs. I have to donate them. Um, and that's just some origami stuff I've got. So yeah, it all has a place. And I'm super pleased. I got rid of some more stuff. I don't know why I enjoy getting rid of more things. It's just when I open a drawer and I see this, each thing, you know, has its own space. It makes me happy opening a drawer and rummaging through crap. Just oh, it stresses me out. I like where I can see everything now. You know, the space, the space was something up there. That's This is a little mirror, just in case anyone's wondering. So yeah, everything's nice and neat in there. And now I just need to... Um, do a few more things and get rid of a few more things. 